You can earn fate tips by watching, following, posting, subscribing, uh, or just contributing to the game. You can then use those fate tips to heal characters, adjust their next skill checks, force them to say silly lines, and then reward or punish them by affecting their experience points. Tonight, we are finally playing Aliens uh, by uh, Free, Free League Publishing. Uh, I'm very excited for this. We tried to start this a year ago. And uh, you know, trying to get all the uh, set pieces and everything that we would need. As you can see on the on the screen here, we have our uh, spaceship, and, and we're tuned into the cryo chamber here, uh, where our crew uh, is resting uh, sleepily uh, through the passage of space, um, traveling to uh, the uh, uh, paradise planet for a. Well needed vacation. Um, amongst the crew, uh, we have Captain uh, Tiber being played by uh, Jeff. Uh, then we've got his uh, right hand man, uh, Felix Helpfinger, playing Stan Crantham. Um, we do not have the uh, active pilot. Uh, but there is a pilot on board named uh, Axel. And there's also an engineer on board who is named uh, Rory Donjon. Uh, the crew is transporting a group of space marines who are on vacation, heading to this paradise planet uh, for some well needed RR. &R. Amongst those members, we have Adam, who is playing Sergeant George Wildstar. Then we've got uh, Erm, playing Lance Corporal Ermageddon. Ermageddon, at your service. Uh, we have Good Devil, playing uh, Corporal Dez, the team's medic. I said good day. And Bruce Gaskin uh, is playing Private Rehnquist Vinter. The newest member of the squad. Then we have a couple of other passengers. As you can see, there's 10 cryopods. All 10 cryopods are filled. Uh, so the remaining two passengers consist of Armand, who is playing uh, Dr. Tevi Fonda, a scientist. Well, hello there. And <laughs> the other is going to be a, a non playing character uh, who is a, a big game hunter. Travels the galaxy, finding uh, rare creatures to hunt down, uh, and that character is uh, Hoopy Ovishak, uh, and he has brought on board with him uh, two uh, alien dog creatures that he has uh, tamed uh, and uses for his uh, hunting. Uh, and if those of you have seen the movie Predators with Adrian Brody and the guy from uh, that 70s show, uh, those uh, long, large dog creatures that they had to deal with in the very beginning are, are what, uh, what I'm referring to. And they're actually, you can see them uh, in storage there uh, on the uh, screen, right in the, the uh, compartment behind the um, cryo tube. They are in stasis cages, which I don't have a physical version of, but uh, that's what they're there for. All right. Let's uh, get things started since we've been running a little late. Uh, first, I'm going to do a little narrative to kind of uh, help set the mood for the, the world that we're playing in here. So, life in space. Uh, there's rumors abound of priceless artifacts found in ancient ruins on distant moons or derelict spacecraft and hostile life forms. All of which are often linked to big paydays for the world. Over the past century, ships, stations, and even full colonies have disappeared. Causes have ranged from acts of gods to pirates to rival governments to natural disasters to plagues. All stories seem to be from someone who knew someone never a direct source. Despite, uh, space life is hard, and it's expensive. More and more ships and equipment are being built for less for comfort and more for low costs. 
not only do you contend with the hardships from a, the mental aspect, but you still have to be worried of uh, you have enough food, to drink, oxygen, uh, and if you're exhausted. Um, religion. In times of such hopelessness and loneliness, it's common for people to look towards religion for answers. Often, this is a source of hope, but for some factions, uh, they're not as happy about the continued exploitation of other worlds uh, and resort to violent means to prevent it. Law enforcement. The Office of the Colonial Marshals is the most widely accepted law form of law enforcement. However, their presence depends on the size of the colony and severity of the incidents. Then you've got the United States Colonial Marine Corps used for more than keeping peace uh, on the borders of known space, but often hired for other situations as well. Uh, there's a corporate security force. Most corporations have their own security teams uh, that they hire privately. And then there's an interstellar commerce commission, uh, which is owned by Whalen Utani, and they monitor interstellar trade and uh, allegedly do it fairly. Sometimes you hear rumors of uh, that not being so true. So, um, yeah, I think, uh, I think we're good to get started here. Uh, uh, <clears throat> I guess first is going to be Captain Tiber. You're going to uh, slowly. Uh, start coming to consciousness and uh, in doing so you're going to become aware that the the system is reviving you from your cryo sleep uh, it's very cold in space so they haven't found ways to uh, uh, cheaply and efficiently heat uh, the, the ships to the point where uh, you're not freezing but it's uh, you know it's not very comforting when you wake up. Um, so, uh, as you start to do so, um, there is, so I got a table of contents to help me uh, know where everything is at. Oh, and did, uh, I forgot to mention before we started, did everybody pull up their list of uh, actions, fast and slow? Did everybody find that? What? Uh, in Discord, I think in the um, the non-cast chat, I put in there. And I might have did. Uh, yeah, I think I did. Yeah, I pinned uh, there a list of um. That's the top thing that's pinned of uh, uh, fast and slow actions. Silent screamy thing. Got it. It's in the it, it's in the cast chat or uh, it's is in it the regular? It's in the regular. I wanted the audience to kind of be able to know. Regular. I also <clears throat> I also just uh, uh, uploaded it to the Skype call, so you can download it if you want. All right, hold on a second. That's Apologize, the game system is very new, so uh, uh, it makes it a little, it can make it a little clunky for us in the beginning as we get used to. Okay, um, Captain Tiber, go ahead and roll me. Um, Two D six. It should be on the very top of your character sheet in the center. You should be able to roll two D sixes. Nine. Nine. All right. Um, because that that you guys are bringing being brought out of hypersleep a little early, you're going to potentially be suffering some some temporary side effects. Um. So currently, uh, you 
are going to have this condition of uh, epilepsy, where you're suffering episodes uh, of and epileptic seizures uh, randomly as we go through. Oh. So don't be surprised when I tell you, uh, you know, that it's affecting you. Um, Let me... You're the first one to come to. It's Armageddon. <laughs> Goodbye, Captain. It's been nice yeah. knowing you. Um, <clears throat> you got the bunny slippers? You got the bunny slippers, sir? Um, so you know that it's it's reviving everybody, and um, you're able to come to enough to see the uh, computer screen in which uh, the system is telling you that a distress call was picked up on your, uh, uh, in the middle of your uh, trip to uh, the Paradise Planet. Uh, as you know, it is required that you know, when discovering a distress call that uh, that everybody go to uh, the distress call, seek that out, and uh, investigate what's going on. <clears throat> um, the penalty is, sure, sure. Uh, if you don't do that, that you uh, uh, forfeit any of your uh, money that you're making on whatever it is that you're, you're doing. So... If you're mining or whatever, uh, you forfeit your your profits from from doing that. Or since this is just a pay gig, you would lose all of your compensation for this transport of of these people. Um, however, since it's a potential security risk, it does wake everybody up so that everybody's aware of what's going on, so that uh, you know nobody uh, is being forced into a situation that they're not. to handle uh, you know, or, or, or uh, yeah, just being aware of it basically uh, you right. despite being woken up a little too quickly uh, have the ability to ease that transition for your crew so and the uh, and the guests <laughs> unless you deem that it's sure. necessary to hurry up and wake everybody up or one or two people of your choice Captain, you know I think you're a piece of shit, right? <laughs> I'll of course wake wake Stan up. Fuck. It is. Alright. Stan, go ahead and roll me two D sixes. <laughs> okay, here we go. That's the oh man. Mouse, mouse. Two D six. Okay. Uh pull the six. A six? Alright. Yep. So your effect uh, is just going to be paranoia. You become convinced that someone or something on board the ship. <laughs> uh, oh, I know, and I'm I'm fucking looking at him right from my bio bed right now. <laughs> Little Brady bunch on this shit. There you go. There you are, right up there. He did wake you up, so. You fucker. All right. Um. So if you guys want to have an interaction between the two of you while uh, you're waiting for everybody else to awaken, please do. Damn, there's a distress speaker. We have to hurry up and go check it out so we can get this, well, the, get this trick hey, back what? in the way. Oh, yeah. No, what? Distress? What? We got a signal? Oh, this, oh fuck, man. I got to get to the Paradise Planet, man. We gotta get we gotta get this going. Can we just uh, turn it off? No, no, it, not, not after the last time. We, we got off with a warning the last time, but I'm not losing my license for this. Okay. No, um, let's wake these, uh, wake these, wake these other idiots up. We got all of them. Well, actually, um, uh, uh, is a hold on. How do I do meta? Okay, so, um, how uh, can I also make things harder or easier uh, on the wake up call for these guys? Uh, yeah, if you take the initiative to wake them up sooner than they're um, prepared to, then yeah, definitely. If you want to make okay, things uh, 
crappy as hell, then make things crappy as hell. <laughs> That's up to you. Okay. Uh, what I want to do is make sure that the big game hunter has the smoothest wake up <laughs> ever. Sure. <laughs> the rest of these guys, I mean, I'll let the fucking timer deal with them. Um, but I want to make sure he he is well taken care of. All right, so you're going to wake and I don't know if the scientist was nice to me or not. He seemed a little douchey. So yeah, what do I need to do to uh, help uh, the big game hunter revive not only first, but the most refreshed? Um, yeah, you just have to kind of mess with the computer settings. There's no role or anything for that. Um, just your just your intent. <laughs> uh, is there anybody that you're specifically trying to wake up earlier? Like in an uncomfortable way? Oh, it's, a, it's the big game hunter. Yeah. Oh no! I um. Let me see the scientist. I I don't trust that guy. He he has glasses and he looks he looks like he's trying to get away with something. So I think he needs a rough wake up. Everybody else, the Marines, fucking jarheads. They can do whatever. They can just die. <laughs> All right, um, Tevi, go ahead and roll uh but, your double sixes. Seven. All right. Uh, you have that same paranoid yeah. effect. You are feeling like somebody aboard the <laughs> ship is out to get you. <laughs> oh, where, where are my glasses? Oh. Who, who's that? Who's who's? Oh. Is there anybody else like around me? Me, bro. And I'm, I'm lingering we... near the controls to these cryo chambers. Heavy, it's it's, it's fine. We there's a distress beacon. We have to we have to go check it out. How much money is it going to take to get you to just take us to the pleasure planet? I cannot be delayed. Or that you can afford. We don't have a choice. Right. We, have to, we have to we have to take a look at this. Fine, I will go uh, examine my my experiments while it's you... probably it's probably nothing. It could be cathartic for you anyway. Sure, you. <sighs> no, I'm I'm not having this argument with you right now. I'm going to go back to my experiments. Do not disturb me. Yeah, most of your stuff is uh, in stasis uh, because some of your stuff is is. Uh... Was it biological is what, what you had, or could we determine what it was biological? So yeah, it's a, it's in a stasis chamber. Um, it's going to be two chambers back from the chamber that you're in. Um, well, that is... That is where I will go. Okay. Where I shall. Uh, the other two studies. crew members uh, will be brought. Uh, oh yeah, they gotta wake up, don't they? Axel and Corey. They will report to you, Captain. What's uh, what, what's happening? What's going on? Oh. oh, there's a distress beacon. We have to go check it out. Then we can be on our way, I guess. Rory just turns around and says, "Man, shit!" And then she storms off. <laughs> heads up the um, staircase there. Hard to hear over there. Sorry, uh, Axel uh, went to uh, the pilot station to get uh, things under manual control. All right. Well, of course, that's a stress beacon. Um, 
And then after that, uh, Hoopy and the Marines will fall out. And you guys can have that interaction. <clears throat> so we just fall out of the chamber? Uh, like slow, deep cross breathing. And then we, we, we just push it open as, as we're frost defrosted and step out? Is that kind of how people are doing it? Yeah, basically. Once you, it, they're upright, so Got you it. don't just, like, fall. You're still kind of laying down, but you're laying down at an angle. The cabin opens up, uh, you know, to let oxygen actually start to come in. Um, once you're close enough to being able to breathe oxygen on your own. Uh, <clears throat> it's cold. You know, you're not wearing much. Uh, you're, you're down in your skivvies at this point. But... Um, uh, there's storage lockers nearby that you can go retrieve your your clothing and stuff. Um, but yeah, you're you're a little groggy, but for the most part, uh, everybody uh, wakes up just fine. Hmm. So is it? Uh, is it? Uh, I I kind of wanted to watch what these guys are doing because uh, you know yeah they're Marines at R and R they could um, they have some potentially cool contraband that I'd want okay. or they could have something that's going to ship me so uh, part of your so I'm, I'm just watching them yeah, as they part of your task do thing. you're you're at the, up the, the front of the uh, that chamber there the cryo chamber. Part of what your responsibilities are at this point is resetting those and preparing those for the next cryo sleep. Um, so it's <laughs> not necessarily okay. time sensitive, but it is something that you want to do. So uh, the okay. lockers in which your guys' clothing and possessions are are in that chamber, just at the very back, on the two different sides. So well, as, I, as I step out, of yeah, let uh. As I step out of the chamber, I um, I want to look around and see, just quickly check the status of the, the other Marines in my unit. Let's go rank order first. Let's do uh, and kind of look, first, and then we'll go down the yep. down the list. Okay. Sergeant. Captain, why why are, why are we out of cryo sleep? What's going on? Is there a problem? I picked up with this stress beacon. It's not too far off. So we're not at the planet? Not yet. We have to... We're obligated to stop to stop and check this out. Should only we take have a few... Leave. Should only take we a have time. leave we need to be on. I, I mean, we have vacation we need to be on. You'll get to your vacation soon enough. Wake up my subordinates. Armageddon? Armageddon? They should, everyone, they should all be waking up soon. You walk out of your cryo tube. Do I have any of this paranoia and illusion um, that everybody else is having? Peaches apparently, food. no. You're just as peachy as ever. Cause you're a goddamn marine, son. That's on vacation. That's on vacation. Hoorah! We've made it. Hoorah! <laughs> I mean. Time for my stretches and my 100 push ups. <laughs> yeah. All right. Um, Corporal Dez, you're becoming revived. Oh, uh, oh, oh, we there yet? Oh, oh, God, why is Ermadin doing? Doing naked push-ups. Ah, oh, who, who beat him in cards again? Ah, oh, it's too early for this shit. Just warming up, gonna... sir. <laughs> and I'm gonna accidentally, not accidentally, step on his ankle as I walk uh, <laughs> over to my uh, uh, my storage lock. Uh, oh, pain is gain. Pain is gain. <laughs> All right, you keep telling yourself that, mate. Uh, Private Rehnquist. You, 
uh, you step out of your crying tube. Okay, I, I look around, see what what my what the other unit uh, members are doing, the sergeant, and I can see everything. That, they're all just kind of standing around. The one guy's on the ground doing push-ups. You said the other guy went to get gear, and the sergeant's standing there, right? Uh, I want to step out and look at look look to the sergeant and see see if he he notices me. And I want to say, uh, uh, status status normal, sergeant. Private. Just kind of. Do you have a good stand, nap? Stand up. Uh, uh, doing doing well, Sarge. All, all's well. Make yourself busy. Whoa. Get our gear. Ah, uh, copy that. Copy that, Sergeant. What's 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 going on? Don't worry about that, son. For now, just get all our gear. Copy that. I'm gonna head over to the equipment with the other right. with Lance Corporal. Are you guys going full military? Or are you guys going um, uh, vacation military? I want to get casual gear with and and um, locate my sidearm. Yes, theme. Yeah, casual. And I don't think military I have military casual. So just mm -hmm. kind of like your uh, military cash. Not your, uh, your weaponry necessarily. Except if you have a sidearm, you want to grab your sidearm. Oh, okay. Specifically. Yeah. Okay. I want to grab that. Do, 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 yeah. do we have a holster for it or anything? Or. Your belt. Okay. I want to hold. I would like to get dressed into that stuff and and then uh holster and then and as i gather my stuff out walk walk the sergeant's stuff back to him keep in mind a little meta here uh firing guns in spaceships is dangerous so the captain may have something to say about your sidearm <laughs> Fair yeah I'm, I'm, I'm like looking around at these guys like pulling out fucking iron <laughs> and and uh <laughs> you know that was the kind of shit i was looking out for Maintaining the cryo tube nearest these assholes. I don't think we're gonna need any guns, boys. I don't see any. Usually these things are just ship ran out of gas or something. We're gonna go give them a, give them a jump and be on our way. <laughs> hmm. Do you have anything to, for us to defend ourselves if this these this this other ship oh. is is hostile? They didn't teach you how to fight the fight basic training there, private. Very well. Right, all you need, You're the captain. need is a knife, and you can make anything a knife. <laughs> God look damn it, Des, this isn't prison. Hey, look, I'm just saying, styrofoam knife totally saved my life. Uh, no <laughs> question. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm going to take my sidearm and but, and, and, and visual, visually sh place it back into, into the okay. storage locker. And then walk the gear back over to the sergeant. All right. Uh, now that everybody's awake, um, what do you want to do next, Captain? <clears throat> We're in turn mode um, right now, so it's every you know, uh, I want to say every ten, fifteen minutes. I guess I'll go to the go to the bridge. All right. Make sure, make sure everything's going going well up there. Did they just take that? I, I got a quick question about my duties. <laughs> I said duties. <Yes. laughs> okay, so uh, uh, I, I, I'm like, I, I perceive this as a, a ship steward, jack of all trades kind of guy. Um, and is there like a lounge that they're all going to go to to kind of, you know, hydrate? Most likely, yes. Uh, like you do when you wake yep. up. And. Uh, so, hmm. okay, so they put their weapons back in the locker, and I am scared shit of that. Um, 
Is there a way I can have dice uh, decide my actions to go and and like ship Stuart for them and make sure that they all get their protein shake and uh, double, you know, or or should I give in and just go after the weapons? Is there a, a dice roll thing I can do for that? Uh, really, that's up to you. Like full power. Oh shit! All right, audience. What I'd say is, if you're going to do something to basically more secure the weapons is you'd probably want to just delay your action yeah. until they make theirs and then wander over and, and kind of lock the you know like you have access to the ship system so you can essentially put an extra lock oh so i can like make it put an extra lock on it okay i will i yeah, thank you i will delay my action until they're you know fucked off okay. so i'm just standing around not suspicious or anything is here maintaining <laughs> making noises there's some buttons boop, boop. yeah we don't have noises in space it's like boop. Uh, there are 80s noises all boop. 80s soundtrack <laughs> yep all right uh tebby fonda you have uh, gone back you've looked at your specimens uh, everything seems to be in good order uh there they haven't been I've been doing some been science. Bothered by anything, uh, so they'll they will. Uh, as far as you you can tell at this point, everything seems to be um, in good shape. So, um, what would you like to do? I guess I have uh, orders uh, assigned to me. I would assume. Uh, not until you get to or the, uh, the the facility. Room. Got it. <clears throat> I guess now that I've secured my uh, my uh, my specimens and made sure everything was okay, did a little bit of light light reporting on what I've witnessed. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, head for some sort of viewport, so that way I can kind of like look out and see what's going on. Okay. So um, when you go up to the second floor near where the airlock is that you entered. There's a viewport that's in there. There's like a little table and chair sitting there um, where you can actually look out the opposite side. So I'll go ahead and find myself some 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 liquid and some grub and go sit down at that table and uh, have myself a nice little bit of breakfast by the viewport. All right. Marines in order. What are you guys doing? Go uh, get dressed and um, have uh, some some morning coffee and check with the captain and see if he needs any assistance. So, uh, yeah, so I'm going to join my CEO uh, for, for, uh, for coffee and, <clears throat> and uh, hopefully some food. But, yeah, just kind of stand by on orders before, before I move forward and maybe get to relax, you know, since we're kind of trying to play the part here. Suddenly remembering something important, uh, I go back over to the storage locker and reach in and pull out the small metal that was with the rest of my gear, and I put it in my pocket. Mm. Breathe a sigh of relief mm. after looking at it briefly. And then follow the corporal and the sergeant to the to the um, to get breakfast and drink. And to stand by for ad additional um, things to react to. Okay. It's the precious. Uh, Hoopy has also uh, followed the Marines into the um, uh, the 
kitchen galley area, whatever, break room, uh, all in one kind of combo there, uh, which is at the rear of the ship. Uh, you can see on screen where the airlock is and uh, Tevi sitting at the table there looking out into the uh, void of space. Uh, there is a big engine there that you can see right outside the window. Um, uh, Sergeant, as you are passing by after getting your uh, your quick cup of good joe and uh, heading to the, uh, the, the main bridge, uh, of course, you pass by uh, Rory, the engineer, who's just cussing and screaming and slamming things around just for no apparent reason. Uh, unless you want to specifically have an interaction with him, uh, you can continue on the bridge. Uh, and which we, uh, Captain Tiber, you see uh, the sergeant walk in. Uh, as you and Axel are uh, diligently working the controls and getting the coordinates to the uh, self uh, or the uh, SOS beacon. Sergeant, what can I do for you? Anything we can help you with, Captain? Um, I don't think we have anything on. On scanners yet and see what kind of distress this is do we uh as you're sitting there pulling it up uh what you'll see is that a the request is coming from a colonial marshal who has a prison transport and uh the uh <clears throat> ship actually had been uh there's some been some kind of indication of a sabotage and the ship controls are no longer functioning they've managed to isolate life control or uh, life support to the uh, airlock area, but they are uh, running low in oxygen. Wow. Doesn't seem like it was a pleasure cruise. It's like a, it's like they're in trouble over there if I have to step in and do something about it. Can you communicate with them? No. It's a one-way signal. Hi, right, Captain. Let's go check it out. Oh, bringing the ship, bringing the ship up to it so we can. All right. Try and get a good, better look at it. Uh, it looks uh, like there's visual signs of, of where explosions have happened on the ship and blown out certain areas of the hull at this point. Um, <clears throat> uh, you do see the airlock, and that area does look fairly unaffected. Um, again, there's no uh, indication of any signs of uh, uh, damage to that area, so you could, uh, you know, dock with that specific you know, area and, and be safe. But the, you don't know the uh, at this point, you don't know what the status of the other ship is, other than the visual side of things. Well, let's try to bring it in dock with that airlock. And All right. Pilot, take a look. Pilot is able to, uh, to make that connection pretty easily. Um, pretty routine stuff for, for them. Um, yeah, so uh, we'll go through the captain, what you want to do, what orders you want to issue, and then we'll do the same thing for the Marines after that. I want to have Stan get a get over to the airlock to help open open the connection, and so I'm gonna. Oh, I totally forgot something real quick. Uh, before we get into that, Stan, you wanted to huh? uh, put an extra lock on the um, the storage lockers, right? Uh, yeah, yeah. I wanted to see if I could. Uh, extra secure these weapons that I don't think yeah, it's just suspicious. Sure. I I do not trust that they're carrying these around so do me a for favor. my help. You and both uh, private wrenches sure. roll double sixes for me. And 
hand. Boom. But he's also got the shiny thing I want. Because I think that's like secret what orders. What I'm trying to do is determine who uh, hit what first. Hold that roll. Okay. Um, okay, so... Where did my oh, roll go? Okay. I lost my roll. I lost my roll twenty picture. Oh, there it is. So, um, okay. Oh you're man. You're going to head over to to uh, put the extra locks on there okay. as Private Rehnquist walks in. You don't. You're not doing anything necessarily suspicious. You just heartbeat goes up a second because you almost got busted. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! I'm sure I got busted. He's just in a lie. <laughs> So, uh, Private Rehnquist, when you enter back in, uh, you see, like, Stan's, like, kind of walking over towards the door, which is also where the storage lockers are. So, you know, kind of, you're kind of, because there's not a lot of space in here, so you kind of had to, like, walk over to the locker and kind of get in his way to get into it, to get your stuff out. So, Got it. if there's any interaction between the two of you, you can have that. We just want to ignore each other. Well, I, I've got a, I've got a big manly chest, so he's gonna have to squeeze on by. She said I had to get past him to get to the yet. box. Or yeah, something. I don't know. Yeah, can we just do that? I can just decide. Up to each other. Oh, okay. Uh, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm a little scared. And so I'm gonna gonna puff up a little, and and just uh, give an accusatory glance. What are you do like like what are you doing in here? But not saying it. You know, it's the sup. Uh, just trying trying to get to my stuff over here. I'm sure you don't mind. He's gonna give way. All right, I'm ahead over my Dream stuff. I'm going to close the case and then head back up with the rest right. of the group. And, uh, Stan? Yeah, there's something about that metal. That, why'd he come back for it? Okay, I'm going to go ahead and, um, you know, check check over my shoulder and, and go, you know, and it, hopefully it's just like a simple operation to lock yep. it down. Yeah, so what you're going to do is you're going to put... And, and this is something that, like... Uh, for them to be able to, uh, get into it. Okay. Would this be a standard one, or would the captain... Because I, I don't mind if we've got just a standard one that the crew uses. I'll just use that, the quick one. Yep. Yeah, that's fine. You know, so that, that way it's it's like crew, you know, crew lock uh, override, and, and the captain should be able to, like, override it if he needs to. That makes yeah, sense. They find it okay. odd because they don't know you're doing it, but then they could easily bypass it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I just wanted to make sure. Okay. Um. I just don't want them. Sure. All right. Now let's go back to the captain. Your your issues. Your standing orders. No, oh, you're on mute. Yeah, I guess that'll help. Um, I was given Stan orders to go to the airlock to help facilitate the transfer of the other crew. And Sergeant, why don't you get your men and go stand guard and help? Seems what you guys are good for, right? Defending? Helping people? Yeah, see that? <laughs> Whoops. Men, on me. Let's get in position. The quicker we get this done, the quicker we get you back back on track. Okay. Uh, by the airlock, you also see uh, an opposite wall there. Uh, Dr. Tevi Fonda sitting at the table. So, um, I'm assuming, Stan, you're going to take the position up at the door like the captain asked? I'm uh, coming out of the... Uh, unsuspiciously coming out of uh, the maintenance of the Cryo area, and I'll I'll just uh, uh, sidle past the scientist because he's just standing there, right? Yeah, you, you come up in the engineering bay, so you're gonna see uh, uh, Rory slamming things around, but the door right by the uh, the ladder there is where the uh, airlock is. So yeah, you, 
pass right by the side of this. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, I knew he was looking out the airlock. I'm a little nervous about that. Okay, so I'm uh, taking up the person, so am I to open it? Or, I mean, is that, I'm just going to, you know, make sure that the thing, airlock's established, yeah, that kind of thing, right? Everything looks good, there's a good seal, all that stuff, and while you're doing that, the Marine Seal will set their stuff up. So, uh, kind of direct me, where do you guys want to go, uh, for Marines-wise, where do you guys want to go in the, uh, So, you're asking uh, what order we're going in? I think we got a, I got a redemption. Uh, well, first of all, Sergeant, are you going to uh, position yourself in there? Or are you going to stay with the captain? Um, I'm going to delegate to the men to go check it out, and I'm going to stay by the captain. I'm in charge now. You're in charge of where everybody's going to be set up uh, in preparation for opening the airlock. For opening the airlock. Yes. Okay. <clears throat> I don't know. So. Uh, what's in there, right? Here's my metagame hat. What do I need to consider with opening up the airlock? I'll get sucked out. Well, obviously, but like, are we? <clears throat> I'm I'm pretty sure we're docking. You're docking with a ship that like, is uh, given indication that's been sabotaged. Uh, yeah. And, there's a couple and giving a SOS. Yep. Yeah, and the airlock. The. Uh, the airlock of the other ship is the only safe place left on the other ship. And who am I commanding? Uh, you are commanding um, uh, Corporal Dez and Private uh, Renquist, Venture. Okay. Um, and it's the airlock closest, pretty much in front of us, right? Yes. On the side? Yep. Okay. Um, so the I'm person gonna have... opening the airlock will be uh, Stan Crantham, and then behind you, uh, against the other wall, is Dr. Tevi Fonda, just kind of hanging out. But you might want to yeah, consider I'm gonna... security. <laughs> yeah, he he needs to get out of here. But I'm gonna have the two Marines. I'm a security risk. <laughs> uh. Take a standby position on the side of the first door. Who's that you're taking? Uh, the the two other Marines that I have command of. <clears throat> right with them? Yeah, not the outer door, the inner door. I want them on both sides. Yep. Oh, okay. I see it now. Perfect. There's no way to there's no way to zoom on on this with the uh, yeah. We can't. Or is your camera locked in? Is that the doctor in the back left? Yes. I'm gonna grab him and throw him out. Well, not unhand not me, throw, sir. But I'm gonna push him out to the left side. Oh, the doctor. I think he meant the real doctor. Hey, I got a doctor oh. too. It's not from the University of Jamaica, buddy. Okay, the doctor that'll actually stand up <laughs> yeah. if uh, someone on the air. Yeah, says, to the left. Uh, is there a doctor? I would like to grab him and push him to the left side. Okay. And, and then I. I'm going to keep it open and I'm going to stand in the doorway, aiming down into into the uh airlock airlock yeah thank you so uh pretty much uh i have their cover and they're going to be on the 
those sides when the door opens. Okay. Yeah. Okay, this this is a question. Um, so the captain briefed us on this whole thing that you just described, right? Uh, he, yeah, basically, yeah. So I'm I'm aware that that's a prison ship, and fucking like, shit went down, captain, and I'm I'm at the door. Yeah, and I'm a first level thief here. <laughs> it feels like. Oh, oh, oh yeah. A... Sorry, I'll let Stan. I'll let Stan know know what he's getting involved in. Okay. One problem. I I don't have any weapons. Don't have any weapons. Oh, sucks to be you, big bad green. They didn't teach you the you uh, basic training. You don't need them, man. You don't need them. Do, Trust me, fisticuffs. Do cuffs. the marines? Do do the marines in front of me have weapons? Nope. No weapons. No weapons. No sidearms. No sidearms. You we put them really back. Don't shoot in a spaceship because if you breach the hull, yeah. everything gets sucked out. D yeah, especially that airlock. Airlock, re and I'm gonna make a comment of like, okay, guys, we're gonna do this, we're gonna do this spacer style, you know, because this this baby here touching the outer door of the airlock that's between your lungs and space, right? A I'm sure that it's not, it does not react well to bullets, as you may have guessed. So, <laughs> um, what I'm gonna do is uh, you know, I'll, pre I'll prep it. Uh, let me know when it's hard docked and everything, right? It's this flashing light shit that happens. Okay, so it's so the we, question we, is, it, yeah, is there is there any weapons that we can have that won't start? You know, how about there's some? I'll bet there's some really. I got a salt shaker, right here, and it is an awesome pair of brass knuckles. Great. I hope we're finding a bunch of eggs and sausages mm. and we're running over pieces of bread and patty this and dropping will, them down. Your question. Bro, this will fuck up your blood pressure. Um, no, it's called burger time. So, <laughs> what you could have is um, if you have any There's like some steel hand mugs. Weapons, I mean, that are on your persons, you'd yeah. be able to keep those. Yeah. Yeah. That's uh, so a question. Only, only uh, like firearms that they would have taken away from you. Um. Well, you okay. So left. What about my firearm? weapon? Um, yeah. Yeah. That that that. So technically, you get a flamethrower and you had a torch. It's not a firearm. So you would be able to keep your torch. Wait. Oh, definitely. It's a family area. So you go walking around with a flamethrower. It's all I'm Big asking. Going to McDonald's. He's got like a, a, a blowtorch thing that's a personal item of his. So hey, gotta let gotta let your cigarettes. Yeah. That's kind of what it's like. It's, it's a Damn right. version of like a you know like a torch like a mini torch like that. So and also I, I um other than that. You could go into the engineering room, which is right next to you, and pick up like uh, wrenches or uh, hammers or, or things like that. Tools. Great. What do, what do I need to roll to yeah, find there, weapons in that room, real quick? Great. I'll I'll grab the like a whatever. I'll I'll grab a blunt and a sharp weapon and pass it to each of those that's standing okay. by the front door and then um again grab a blunt weapon for myself and stand guard at that doorway a hammer and a long screwdriver okay i've got the hammer i gave somebody the wrench and somebody else a screwdriver Des, which are you taking I'll take the screwdriver. <laughs> As he hands me the wrench, uh, I like to say, um, uh, Corporal, could, I feel like we, we, we need to know a little bit more about what's happening here. Uh, I mean, I have, I have a motion tracker in my equipment case and we, we maybe I have a flashlight. We, we should get the rest of our regular gear. That's non, non-combat gear. Perhaps we could use that to, 
to see what's on the other side of this door here. I, it, there's a window. Okay. Where's the window at? that tells you what's on the well, other side of that door? Is this how, and if I, if I, where's that at? Uh, 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 uh if I, if I can, uh, I, I do have a, a compressor. Ermadin? Who the hell is Ermadin? Er, Irma who? I am S -S Sergeant Ermageddon. Ermageddon, uh, I, you know, it's hard to keep track when they're all the same fucking thing. Uh, <laughs> uh, I, I, also, I, I don't know if, uh, anyone else has brought it along, uh, but I do have, uh, an air compression suit I can throw on and seems as how... Uh, the, the airlock is the only place where, uh, uh, the, 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 that is currently, you know, oxygenated. Uh, maybe, you know, we get that, uh, so, you know, to breathe the air. Do, do we you know, know if there's atmosphere on the other the side air. of the door? Yes. Uh, well, we're not opening the door until we so die. You are you're, you're ready to, to open the door. Yeah, we're, we're docked. See, I'm, we're already docked. Yeah, I'm, Jeez. I'm. I'm just standing here, you know, in a in a hat, and with a salt Where's shaker. The doctor, doctor, grab our equipment. Fuck. You asking uh, Doctor Tevi Fonda to go down and grab your equipment? Yeah, and whoever else uh, is the in the room, I oh. see another person. All right. Yeah. Uh, uh, grab our equipment. We'll hold it off for now. Quick, quick thing. Who do you we'll think you are telling me what to do? I'm sorry, I didn't join your military. I have important work to do. What was that? I'm going to come <laughs> right up to you and grab you by the collar. Don't you dare like, touch me, sir. Do you want to live or die today? I doubt handling a small distress signal and getting you this speak poor too shit much. back. Go and do. Exactly, it's what Go I do the best. Do. And I'm gonna push you away, and then go back, shut the door, and the defend. He's basically kind of doing the same thing. He's like, "Yeah, go fuck yourself," but he's like, chugging down a bottle of scotch. Mm -hmm. Uh, okay. Tevi's gonna go ahead and walk back to the That's room fine. that has all of his specimens right. and whatnot, and he's gonna go check on them because he feels like somebody's messing with them. <laughs> all right, uh, Captain. Don't worry, men. Reinforcements will arrive. Captain. Stand your ground. So we're opening the door without any of our stuff then? <laughs> no. no. Stand yes, your ground. Yes, we are. Right. Yes, we are. No, we are. You are able to pull up with the sensor board now that you guys are docked. Uh, that there's only two <laughs> life signs on the other side of that. It's a numbers game at that point. Do we, do we have like, do we have like yeah. radios? Yeah. Well, you could just, you know, like, you would go through comms with this sh oh. ship. If you're looking for a private radio, okay, you guys yeah. would have them, but um, anything you'd say would still be audible by everybody that's right by saying anything anyway. So, it doesn't oh. make sense to use it for this. Over comms. There's oh, this two, is me two, and you. Two life, life forms on the other ship on the other side of the airlock. Let's get it open. Let's get them over here and see what's going on. Must be air. All right. Yep. Dan, open oh, I'm that popping out. it, popping it open now, sir. Um, well, yeah. Oh man, I've got to be more paranoid about this, but I'm also worried they're gonna fucking find my lock weapons. So wait, we're opening up the yeah, airlock. Open it now, motherfucker. Why are we yeah. opening up the airlock? <laughs> right. Captain said so. Airlock opens up, <laughs> and behind the door, <laughs> wishes open. <laughs> is two individuals uh one with their uh hands behind their back cuffed uh they're a hooded figure so you can't really see their face uh and behind them is a colonial marshal and uh he says you know permission to come aboard uh i'm yep. yeah i'm it right uh well Hold actually on. well he hears it to the the cap captain <laughs> can you hear this so you can grant him permission yep. Permission granted. I'll uh, leave the bridge right. and start walking that way. <laughs> Objection. Good. Objection. <laughs> Overruled. Set sensors said two life signs, and we're seeing three people. Is it three? What? What? He just I, said two. I, I two. Yeah, he said two. 
You said two people, the marshal, hands and, behind their back. No, the no. marshal, and, and then the prisoner. marshal. That's it. The marshal and his prisoner. That's two. Just the one prisoner and the marshal behind him. Yeah. Sar Sergeant, get oh. your men under control. Uh, They're uh, already hallucinating. Uh, does he hear I, this? I heard two prisoners. My bad. Oh, okay. Yep. That's my fault. Okay, I'm sorry. You. Okay. When they, let's see. Uh, as soon as they come through, I will. Uh, I, I will close that door uh, as soon as they come on through. Um, <clears throat> so that leads us to um, Sergeant. Uh, are you staying on the bridge or are you going down as well? No, at this point, I'm going to stay on the bridge. Can I see what's going on through surveillance? Yes. Can I see what my men are doing? Yep. There's a whole surveillance uh, station that you can be at up there. Okay. Then if I'm not all right, if I'm not already in view of that, I want to be in view of all that. Right. All right. And uh, all right. So, Captain, you've arrived down there. There's some arguing going on between um, Armageddon and uh, and Stan Crantham and about uh, the order in which things should be done. The, uh, I guess I'll kind of ignore them. Let them, let them continue bickering and go over to the marshal. Okay. I'm serious. <laughs> All right. You want to say something to the marshal? Marshal, what happened? What's going on? <laughs> What's up, buddy? Uh, I've been tracking down this uh, very dangerous killer. Captain, and, stop! Don't uh, let him in. <laughs> still hear the uh, complaints of Armageddon from behind. Um, what are you doing? Uh, <laughs> sorry, that was really funny to me. Um, <laughs> <laughs> sorry. Uh, yeah, so he's been uh, hunting down this, this dangerous criminal, uh, finally captured him, and then on their way to uh, a prison planet, um, they had managed to escape and uh, sabotage the ship causing uh, fires to erupt in the uh, systems and uh, killing most of the other, or all the other rest of the crew. He was able to contain them and get a message out quick enough to get off the bridge before it, you know, uh, decompressed. And then uh, was able to, to set the life support up in that uh, airlock just long enough for you guys to get there. So he is extremely grateful that you guys were able to uh, come and save them in time. Uh, they didn't have much time left, so. Um, and he said that we should probably get out of this uh, immediate vicinity because uh, there's a good chance the ship's gonna blow pretty quickly. Of course, of course. Uh, and he asked if there's any uh, place to uh, safely stow the prisoner away. Ah, oh, yes, we can put him in the brig. Does it have a brig? <laughs> What? Where's the brig? No, that's that's the sex dungeon. That I charge extra for that. That's what we. That's how we make money for fuel. Uh, you... Stan, we'll have to we'll have to push all your tools to one side. Put them down. Could there you put him in cryo? So. Uh, I haven't finished resetting the pods, and that leaves us one short of cryo. Uh, two. Two. Oh, you only had enough for all of you, and now there's two extra people. Yeah, who wants to give up? Yeah, I'm gonna look at them. Well, which one of you wants to give up their spot and uh, ride this out the long way? Uh, the distance to the planet is longer than the uh, the non cryo version of a, of, of a light jump to or a, a, a travel to there. Uh, outside of Cryo 2. So, we are conundrumed. So, it, so you're... Uh, how, so, how, how long are, are, are we talking being outside of the Cryo here? Uh, it's probably still another 100-year trip. So, someone... Yeah, how much air do you... So, whoever's not going into Cryo is not getting out of here. 
half of the ship. Well, not alive. There's some place we can drop them off on the way. Uh, the engineer hears you guys uh, saying, talking about this, and he says, "Ah, damn, fucking hell!" Smashes his bottle on the ground and then goes down. He's like, oh, "I'm gonna go check on the cargo." <laughs> storms down the uh the jeffrey tomb all right uh, i mean <laughs> could we double up trade could we double up in the cryo tubes <laughs> be a little uncomfortable <laughs> well, unless you want to solve half did that time. once at camp never again tevi fonda has entered the chat <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so I'll, um, the engineers, the engineers doing something. I'm going to kind of look around for a way to kind of, you know, lock this guy up. I think we've got a, a couple of maintenance closets. Um, uh, don't we you have a couple of lockers? We have some lockers. Uh, they're probably not going to be sufficient for, uh, fitting a person into them. If you fold them. Fold them. <laughs> So your best um, bet if there's a couple to... like like some of us been stuffed into a locker or two in my time. Um uh could I could I generate something up to like, you know, just make a double wide so the, the you know, which is you also where my mom find lives. Find a room that you has two doors that you can just lock them into basically. Okay, have I got anything off the top of my head, since I didn't memorize the deck plans. Um, so in the crew quarters, there's an area where you can do that, where part of the crew quarters is uh, separated. Uh, one side's the ventilation side oh, of uh, the ship, and then the other side is the locker room and other half of the living quarters. Um, so you get isolated. Okay, um, I'm gonna put him in the pilot. I'm putting him in the pilot's room. I'm gonna secure the pilot's room because they're new. I'm not going to ask Captain, I'm just going to do it. I challenge this. Okay. I'm going to watch after him the entire time. Alright, so you're going to follow him? Oh, dude, I, you can watch. I'll lock you both in there. No, no, we're not locking them up. Oh, well, it's not your ship. I don't think it's your decision to make. It isn't. It is not. But we should definitely have somebody... With eye contact on him full time. Oh, well, sure. Well, I'm we'll Captain. I you can sit there and watch. When you say the. Uh, oh, are you sure that I can't interest you in the sex stuff? When you say you're gonna put him in the pilot's room, you mean just like the uh, the bridge of the ship or like the uh, the crew quarters that I was talking about? Uh, uh pilot's quarters. So it's actually um, it's gonna be a mix of many of your quarters because all your quarters are literally just a room with a bunch of bunks in. What? Oh, I thought. Oh, okay. I was looking for a room. Well, it is. It's, like I, I thought we would have a in the closet, but room, I guess not. Uh, a room full of like six bunks. Yeah, that that's not how. We can't like handcuff him to a table in the commons area, and keep guard on. Him. Yeah, you can do that. Yeah, I'm going with this. Let's do that. Or, I, I didn't understand how my own ship worked, so yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm going to Lance Corporal on this one. Wait, it's not your ship, I thought. I thought it was. Well, it's a company ship, but, you know, I'm the Wookiee. I'm like Chewbacca. <laughs> In spirit, right? In spirit. Oh. Because obviously I'm not brown. Right, right, right. Um, I but I um, I'll also. I also want to uh, scrunch. I, I'm assuming no. The sex dungeon definitely had some high quality titanium manacles, and they're padded for comfort. Is this guy for real? <laughs> you guys really have a sex dungeon on this ship? Yeah, with Wookies apparently. Every ship has a. What the sex hell's a Wookie? You have nowhere to find it. Okay. Right. <laughs> so currently, in the uh, the kitchen galley area, or whatever, um, in the very back yeah. corner, Goopy is just kind of sitting by himself at a table. 
Uh, on the other opposite okay. table is where the uh, prisoner is being handcuffed to. Uh, I have Stan oh, and Ar Armageddon there uh, with him. Or her, actually. It's her. As you uh, secure them okay. to the table, you can actually see you know, she has feminine features underneath the, the hood. Um, Corporal Dez and... Why are we talking about her under the hood? Uh, Corporal Dez and mm -hmm. Private Venter. Well, what do you want to do at this point? Sorry, quick question. Do we have access to our no, weapons yet? Nobody's going to get them. To, or okay. at least return with them, I should say. Yeah, you don't need them now. Don't need them now. Don't need them. I'm, I'm going to go head towards the bridge to talk to the sergeant. Okay. Well, I'm going to say I'm going to say I'm going to say that to the cor to the corporal cuz the corporal we need to go talk to the sergeant. I I'm, I'm going to go. Do you want to stay here or you want to come with? That's to the desk. Uh uh, I don't know, mate. Uh, it, it seems like there's a whole bunch of nothing going on. I might just go, uh, go back to the lounge, uh, kick back and knock back a few. That that sounds good. Great. See you in a little bit. All right. Um, the uh, captain. Uh, what do you want to do at this point? It's a big major decision to be made now. Uh, so there's well, this big uh, decision to make. What do you, where do you <laughs> want to do at this point? What's the decision? Oh, uh, as far as uh, how you're going to handle this cryo situation <laughs> and not enough tubes. Oh. But is, a bunch is of people there any uh, any outposts? The captain up at the, or not the captain, the uh, sergeant at the uh, in the bridge. So. Are there any outposts so, nearby? No. The closest place actually is where you're going. You guys are, are close enough, but just not close enough at the same time. Well, we're two pods short. I hate to be meta, but does this ship have any escape pods? No. That costs okay. too much. I have nothing to add. Do, do, do I arrive in 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 the bridge uh, where the sergeant and the captain are uh, while he's thinking? Actually, in the um, in the airlock area where you were. The sergeant. Oh, the is he? The, uh, pilot. Okay, good. Yeah, I wanted to go where the sergeant is. So we'll get to that in just a second. Okay. Can I go? Just want to see where what the captain uh, wants to do real quick. We can rotate the rotate the crew of the ship. Every uh. Every five years. <laughs> Who are you talking to? Yeah. Himself. <laughs> yeah, myself. You just uh, spitball in there, Cap. Uh, all I can say is it's gonna it's gonna be a little rough on the protein rations. Um, I wonder if this. I, we can't. Do we carry spares? Maybe. I, I'm hoping maybe. Some jury rig too. You know, just take your chances. All right, hold yeah. on. Wait, wait. Your ship have the ship. Uh, they have fire. We, we could. Rory we, to, could we can get Rory to make us make another tube. We can we jettison could. this bad guy, and we just need one extra. I'm kind of thinking, could we go back on the ship and salvage one of their tubes? So, I'm going to pause that and go to uh, the bridge with uh, the sergeant, the pilot, and um, Rentmist. Private Rentmist. Sergeant, permission to speak freely. At ease, Private. You think there's any chance we can call on another ship to take these, take these guys out of here? Because I mean, they called us, right? We don't have any room. That is correct. Maybe. They... How many people do they need 
cryo chambers for? I mean, they got two of them down there. One of them's looking pretty suspect. Apparently dangerous. Hmm. Stream well, with just some really binders. Do, private. The pilot will get up and uh, walk out of the uh, bridge. Where are you going? I have to speak to the captain. Maybe we should all speak to the captain. I feel like we all got a stake in this. What do you think, Sarge? You or we stay? See what the situation is. Should we we stay out of it and let him let him resolve this? Yeah. That'd be we that. need to make our presence officially known until we absolutely have to. Fair enough. All right. So you guys, now I'm gonna turn and head back out. Are both of you going? Or are you still? Sergeant, you're still staying on the bridge. No, I, 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 I'm going to go with them, too. to the captain and say, uh, tell you uh, it had been my wish to uh, keep this to myself because I know that uh, my kind are not very well received uh, however I am an artificial life form and I can sustain outside of cryo so Because I cannot let uh, harm come to any human beings, I am morally obligated to volunteer to stay out of cryo. Am I in the same room as this? You're in the next room. You can hear it going on. <laughs> um, okay, not close enough. Well, fuck. Everybody hears this except for Dr. Tevi Fonda and the uh, engineer. The only two not present. Oh, is, um, one of us. Uh, silly, silly question. Uh, like, all right, hold on, Meta. I, I, the pilot is female or male? Um, female. Okay. Because, because I'm just going to say something inappropriate, which is, damn, I beat off thinking about you. I don't feel dirty. You pretty much just ignored the comment. Waiting for the, the captain's response. Oh, okay, hey, sure. I'm glad I'm not. I'm glad she didn't cut me in half, man. <laughs> oh, God. So you're going to spend a lifetime waiting here on the ship. Doesn't that mess with your circuits or whatever? Uh, it will degradate uh, my systems uh, quite a bit. However, um, in all intents and purposes, I'll still be alive. Jesus. Have it? Do you want to switch places with him? <laughs> I do not, sir. And zip it. <laughs> Copy. All right, and then shortly after that, the uh, an explosion hits outside hit. the uh, ship. Uh, oh. The other ships uh, 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 blowing up, and. Uh, you know, it's a little. You guys got some distance between you, so it only rocks the ship a little bit, but enough to, you know, everybody notices that it's happening. Probably should have listened to that first before I started jumping all over the place. Yeah, Doctor, you get rocked around a little bit down there in the uh, in the cargo area. Be careful of my specimen. Uh, yeah, you, and you can hear Rory just being like, "Ah, fuck." Over in the uh, chamber next door. I can't get a moment's peace. <laughs> All right, and with that, we are closing in on time for the night. So, oh, <laughs> like I said, there's a good chance everybody survives the first episode. <laughs> uh, no one fired their gun and killed everyone. Them. So, not for lack <laughs> of trying. Yeah. 
Couldn't promise anything. <laughs> I want to fire my I want to fire my pistol at the wall several times. <laughs> see what happens. <laughs> Like, hey, 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 jarheads, go ahead, try to boss <laughs> the doctor around, the doctor Tevi Fonda. Just see how good that works for you. All right. So with that, I uh, hope everybody enjoyed the first episode. 